Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 video. Today, I have just unlocked the Jack Jawbreaker, which is a new AK variant chambered in 458 SOCOM. So what does any of that mean? Well, week two for the weekly challenges here for Modern Warfare 3 Season 3, we have a new aftermarket part called the Jack Jawbreaker, which converts the KV Broadside Shotgun into a battle rifle chambered in 458 SOCOM. It's kind of interesting because we don't have any AK battle rifles, and so essentially this is turning an AK platformed weapon into an AK battle rifle. What's also weird about this too is that I did a little bit of reading, and as of 2019, there are at least two AKs chambered in 458 SOCOM, which is kind of nuts to think about, but in order to get this, of course, you have to complete five weekly challenges. You can complete any five challenges. These are the five that I was able to complete. Don't even bother going for this challenge right here. Scope equipped and suppressor equipped on a recommended shotgun. This challenge was broken for me. It didn't track at all. And I had a much better time going for quick scope kills with battle rifles, clean kills with shotguns, and the rest of them here. And so today what I thought I'd do was hop into zombies and get the golden ivory camel for the KV broadside. I already have gold for this gun because I got it back in Modern Warfare 2, but now let's go ahead and complete all the camo challenges for in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I've already unlocked three of the camos, but it looks like we still have to complete this category here, which is 250 total kills in tech stance with the KV broadside. Then of course, you have to get 100 kills and successfully extract with this particular gun. And so let me go into the firing range real quick and show you guys the build that I made here for this KV broadside conversion. And as you can see, it is an absolute laser beam. And of course, I made this class with zombies in mind. So the laser is visible to enemies. That doesn't matter because zombies are not human players. And the muzzle device I have on here would make me more vulnerable on the mini map. And once again, it doesn't really matter because they're zombies. So I made this class with gun recoil control in mind so I can be as accurate as I can be with this AK battle rifle. So now we're going to hop into Modern Warfare 3 zombies. And I am just praying that I don't crash this time because I want to get Golden Ivory and I want to use this battle rifle AK in zombies and see how good it is. All right, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, ready to go. And what's kind of nice is that they actually added a challenge tracker to Modern Warfare 3, so now I can actually track how many kills I have left in the menu. But of course, we have some acquisitions to use. So let's go ahead and use all of our acquisitions. We got a blue ether tool, got a handful of perks here. So we definitely should test this thing out against zombies and mercenaries. So let's go do this contract. And then maybe after this contract, we'll do a mercenary focus contract. One thing that I found was kind of interesting about this gun is when I was creating my class, I wasn't actually able to change the magazine or the ammo type for this particular gun. Maybe because, you know, the original gun is a shotgun and that would be kind of conflicting. Could you imagine having slugs, but then you're using a gun that's using a rifle cartridge? Like that would be kind of confusing. So they probably disabled that for that specifically. We got one of these ether nests here. This will spawn in a ton of zombies for us. And honestly, we're getting these tax stance kills pretty quickly because I mean, I didn't need a whole lot of tax stance kills to begin with, but this is pretty nice, actually, using this thing as a battle rifle. I like when games do unique things like this. And, you know, I know Modern Warfare 3 has been kind of up and down. It's been kind of hit or miss for some people. But I gotta say, the aftermarket part system, I was skeptical of at first. But now, honestly... I think it's kind of cool. You know, I guess there is some silver lining to Modern Warfare 3, and, you know, there's some silver lining to some of the modern games. Definitely not making any excuses for what this game has done with Modern Warfare 3 zombies and how it's just not as engaging as all other zombies experiences. But still, I have to give credit where credit's due, at least. I mean, from that ether nest alone, we're already at 217 out of 250, so that's pretty cool. Okay, Ether Nest is done. What do we get? Napalm Burst? We'll take it. You know, it's kind of weird to think about, but this will be my second gun that I actually get the Zombies Gold on in this game. The first gun, and the only gun I currently have gold, is the SVA 545. And I got that gun gold a long time ago, so it's been a while since I've made any kind of camo grinding video here for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I just mainly wanted to make this video because this is unique. I think... This AK battle rifle platform here because of this aftermarket part is kind of a unique feature. And you guys know me. I've covered the history of some firearms in some of my previous Call of Duty videos. And I like talking about firearms.
platform. So when I saw this in the game, I thought it was pretty unique and I wanted to cover it. Because like I said earlier, I did a little bit of reading before I started the stream and I saw an article that said as of 2019, there is at least two AKs chambered in 458 SOCOM, which is kind of amusing to me. Okay, so we're going to do this contract and without a doubt, we are going to complete that tax dance challenge. Insta kill, very nice. Just killed a huge crowd of zombies there. There we go. We got the camo, ladies and gentlemen. And so now we can go back to normal ADS and we can go back to the laser beam. All right, contract is done. We've got a self revive and a green ether tool. All right, and so like I said, I wanted to do a mercenary focus contract to see how good this thing is against the mercenaries. So let's do one of these. Now, the one thing that's unfortunate, even though we do have our camo tracker currently active, is we don't have an actual scoreboard in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies to see how many kills I have. But as we all know, getting 100 kills just by itself isn't that difficult. So it shouldn't take me very long to do at all. Here come the mercenaries. Ooh, hello. All right, not too bad so far. Oh, don't die. I'm going to die. Oh, I got to melee this guy. Oh, run, 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 run. All right, I shouldn't have just gone in gung-ho like that. That was pretty dumb. All right, not bad, actually. Not, not bad against the mercenaries. Let's blow up this rocket. No, not bad at all against the mercenaries. This thing's pretty good. I mean, it's a battle rifle. I would hope it's good, you know? Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Man, I really wish I could increase the magazine capacity on this thing. That would have been really cool. I guess that kind of would have been overpowered, even if we were able to uh, have a larger 458 SOCOM magazine. Oh, this guy is playing Mr. Game and Watch. He was jittering all over the place. Ah, what's going on with the mercenaries? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, the game's lagging a little bit, actually. Oh, boy. Come on, Modern Warfare 3. Stay with me now. Stay with me, Modern Warfare 3. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, man. This game is slowly turning into a slideshow. Yeah, against the guys with armor, this thing's pretty good, actually. Nice, we got it. All thanks to the KV Broadside Battle Rifle. Another uncommon ether tool. All right, all right, now let's take out an HVT. I know we're only in the tier one zone, but I still want to take out an HVT with this thing and see how we do. Part of me wants to go into the tier three zone, or at least the tier two zone with this thing and see how it does. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll save up for double pack a punch and we'll go into the tier two zone, do maybe a tier two HVT contract, and then we'll exfil just to see what this thing is really capable of. I know it's only blue rarity, so it might only be capable of so much, but still, it'll kind of give us a general idea. I gotta say though, that is one of the downsides of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, because ether tools are so uncommon, really, to find around the map. Oh, wait, hang on, hold that thought. Is this contract really in a stronghold? All right, I guess, uh... I guess I'm not doing that contract. I want to save up my points. I don't want to go to a buy station and, and buy a key card. I want to save up my points for Pack-a-Punch. Well, I guess while we're on the subject of Modern Warfare 3 doing some very dumb things, that's one of them right there. But what I was originally saying was that because Ether tools are so hard to come by just in the regular world and you kind of have to rely on your schematics in this game, you know, it, it makes... It makes me, and I'm sure a lot of other players out there, not want to go into the Tier 2 or Tier 3 zone half the time. Like, it doesn't feel like there's a sense of warranted progression. I don't feel as if I'm earning anything in this game. I'm just using schematics every time I turn around, and that's how I'm just expected to play the game. Now, granted, I know you can do zero to hero runs, and you can you know, find stuff and loot stuff in the game, go into the tier three zone and find an orange weapon. But you know, not all the time you want to use a wall weapon that's orange rarity. You know, what if you don't want to use the SVA or the Holger or I don't know what other guns are on the wall in this game, but you know, sometimes you don't want to use one of those wall weapons. You want to use one of your custom builds and you want to, you want to get ether tools. You want to get some kind of progression with that. You know, I mean, those are my thoughts about Modern Warfare 3. You know, that's part of the reason why I really don't come back and play this game as consistently because I, I just feel like there's not as much progression as there was in Black Ops Cold War, which also had the rarity system. At least in Black Ops Cold War, I could earn salvage and I can upgrade my gun no matter what gun, at any point. Granted, of course, if I had enough salvage. So that's one of the shortcomings of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. The progression 
and getting ether tools and trying to go into tier three zones at a at a steady rate is kind of a pain in the ass actually we have a mangler here to take out let's see how we do tier one Okay, not not too bad, not too bad. I mean, we do have Napalm Burst, and the Manglers are weak to fire damage. So, we are doing a little extra damage than we would be normally. But still, took care of a uh, took care of a level 1 bounty contract pretty quickly. What did we get? Ooh, okay, we got a Pack Punch Crystal. Nice. Like I said, I still want to test this thing out in the Tier 2 zone at least. So, let me just go ahead and save up my points. And let's go do that. Oh, we have an Outlast contract. Those are pretty easy. Oh, I don't think the double points are gonna cover the end of the end of the thing here. Oh, what the hell? I just got a camo completed. Wait, I thought I already had that camo completed. I guess I saw wrong. Ooh, rare ether tool. Nice. Wait, chat, did I just completely ignore one of the camo challenges earlier at the beginning of the video? I think I just accidentally, unintentionally ignored one of the camo challenges. Well. I guess now we can start getting 100 kills. How about that? I thought I saw three of them completed. Maybe I'm just losing my mind at this point. Although I gotta say, how lucky am I that I did end up getting Napalm Burst and that was the exact ammo mod I needed to actually complete that challenge. I almost just completely threw my own camo grinding video unintentionally. Uh, this guy, you know not doing as good against the Mimic as I thought it would be. It did pretty good against the Mangler, but that was because we had the corresponding ammo type. Insta-kill. Nice. Let's finish him off. Nice. Okay. What'd we get? Napalm Burst again. Alright, folks. We are at Tier 2 Pack-A-Punch. There we go. Double Pack-A-Punched KV Broadside Battle Rifle, and let's try a contract. Alright, but here against some Tier 2 zombies here in the Tier 2 zone. Not too bad. Not too bad. I feel like it should be doing maybe a little more damage than what it is. But honestly, it's still not bad. Again, if this game had regularly appearing ether tools and things like that, I I could look past this because then I could just go get a purple ether tool or an orange one or something like that. We already had that conversation. Let's just go ahead and do this contract. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this contract and then just focus on zombie kills and then exfil. All right, we picked up the contract. Let's see what kind of HVT it is. It's a mangler again. Speaking of manglers, here's a normal one. Double pack a punch. Oh, look out. Yeah, with double pack punch, that's pretty good. That's pretty good against the manglers. Nice. There's our HVT. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that's, that's not the greatest, actually. I mean, when I break the armor, yeah, then Napalm Burst is going to start kicking in, which is pretty nice. But still, I am going to need more power to break that armor a little sooner. Oh, and my camo is glitching on and off on my gun. Well, that's a new one. <laughs> that's a new glitch. I've never seen that one before. You know, I think the final verdict on this thing... You know, I think the way this thing is performing right now, at least in the Tier 2 zone with blue rarity and double pack-a-punch, could be better, could be worse, honestly. I mean, it, we could be doing no damage to this HVT Mangler, but we're we're doing all right. I would really like to try this thing out with a purple rarity or maybe an orange rarity sometime in the future, but honestly, it's all right. We're here at the end of this contract right now, and he's dead. Very nice. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Juggernaug, a self-revive. Monkey bombs. All right, but now it's time to start making our way over towards the exfil. Still have to kill some zombies. We still got to get some progress there. Actually, now that I'm here on the edge of the tier three zone, how are we doing against a tier three zombie? Ha! <laughs> Definitely could be a lot better. <laughs> how about a, how about a tier three armored zombie? Eh, not as bad as I thought it would be. Not the greatest either. I mean, again, I do only have my gun at blue rarity, and it is double pack-a-punched instead of... Oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. Uh, it is double pack-a-punched instead of triple pack-a-punched. All right, well, let's get out of here. I just wanted to see how that thing would do against Tier 3 zombies. So we're back in the Tier 1 zone on the way to the Xville. We do get a lot of zombies that spawn in during the Xville, so we might be able to kill 100 zombies during that Xville, too. And here come the zombies. A couple manglers also spawn in, too. Oh, oh, actually... Here come a lot of zombies. Okay. 
Did they buff the amount of zombies in the in the X fills again? That'd be cool if they did. Oh wow, yeah, look at them all. Holy cow. Nice. Yeah, we might just get 100 zombies here in the X-Fill alone. And, and we had all those zombies from the uh, Tier 2 zone that we killed. And all the zombies in between getting to this point, too. So, yeah, I think we'll have more than enough. Oh, I got a weekly challenge completed on the zombie side, I think. That's pretty cool. And my helicopter is about to leave. All right. Well, here we go, guys. Let's hope I got 100 kills. I'm sure I did, right? Customize. Camo. And of course, there it is, the golden ivory camo for the KV broadside converted into a battle rifle. All right, so let's head to the firing range. Let's see how this looks. Not bad, not bad. You know what it kind of reminds me of though? It kind of reminds me of one of the Black Ops 3 multiplayer camos. I don't know why. It just has that kind of look to it where I feel like this would be in Black Ops 3. And of course, this thing's shooting as straight as ever, even with this new camo on it. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. That was me getting golden ivory here on the KV broadside with the aftermarket part that converts it into a battle rifle. Just my second gun in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies that I have the gold camo on. But you know what? I'm glad I got it for the KV broadside. Genuinely one of my favorite guns in Modern Warfare 3. In shotgun form and now in battle rifle form. I think I'm going to use this thing a lot more frequently. One more inspect just to see the camo again. You know, even though this is one of the weaker gold camos in Modern Warfare 3, or just in zombies in general, it's still not a bad looking camo, all things considered. But what do you guys think about the KV Broadside Aftermarket Part, the Jack Jawbreaker? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.